Good morning. I'm Xiao Fei, and today we're at one of my favorite waterfalls in all of Taiwan, Qing'un Waterfall. I'm here with my cousin, Nati, who's visiting from Israel, and my brother, Asher, all the way from the United States. And I'm showing them all around Taiwan on a hondo because a typhoon is going to come and ruin our plans otherwise. So we need to go out while the water is still clear and we can go to waterfalls without risk of death. Yeah, good morning everybody. Finally, we have blue sky. It's been raining nonstop since they got here. We haven't had really any opportunity to river trace at all, which is kind of a shame because I promised them waterfalls. Now we're going to Longfeng Waterfall. I came here in February with John and it was awesome. Now there is much, 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 much more water than there was in February. Although it's looking kind of brown, still it should be awesome and a nice place to swim. First river trace. Also first river trace. I like your clothes though. You know why I like my clothes? Why? I am an explorer. Yeah, man. Whenever you see goo, it's slippery, so just be aware. Oh yeah, it's from the road up there that collapsed. Wow. Why do we have helmets? Go ahead. Wow, that's a bit nuts. Swimming in that's going to be interesting. Some of the current goes upstream. I guess that's what we want to avoid. Yeah, you'll, you'll see why when you get there. It's a lot of water, huh? And we're walking, and we're walking. Ah! Woo, it's big today. We, we drove for like one minute. Uh, we didn't even have an opportunity to go very far before we saw this. Say what? Waterfall. I didn't know this was here. There's a giant waterfall right here. And it's also way up there. Oh, it looks like there's another tree. Oh, we'll probably drive over it. I wonder if there's a bridge or if the water just gets across the road. Just uh, watch my wheel on that side. Okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So now you guys basically see why I got this car instead of a much more practical car like that. Check it out. Yeah. Wow, that's a giant waterfall. But the bottom tier looks like it goes pretty far down. If there's like a big pool there, that would I mean that would be like a top 10 waterfall. If there's like a big pool there, you go swimming. You, you, usually it's just rocks. Hey Jonathan, what, what are you doing? I'm exploring. Yeah! dream you know like to do this stuff with you this is so exciting what? i'm river tracing with my brother wow look and there's uh two the second one's really big too i hope they go into the same pool yeah there's uh freshwater crabs here yeah just gonna keep going up here 
Because there's a way. Careful, there's a hole here. Whoa, oh, this is gross. I hope there's a pool to swim in. Oh, you don't want to be here. You want to be in that river. Go down into the river if you can. Oh, I got a spider web like covering my, like, my eyelash. Whoa! That's a small one. Shit! Wow! Whoa, man, come from the... No pool. Made it. Six. Yes. Come from the left. The actor. You look like a plumber. Let's still go to that other, check out that other waterfall. There's still no pool. Thunder. We gotta get out soon. All right. Jonathan's first real river trace. And now it's Jonathan's first tasty retreat from a storm. This is not retreating. This huh? is barging in reverse. Don't forget to subscribe. The uh, subscribe icon is somewhere around here. And click the bell. Hi everyone, I want to take some time to sort of put this all into context and why it was so great and why I was so excited about it. So we camped down here near Long Fung Waterfall. There was so much water because it had been raining nonstop. There, my family had been here for over a week and every single day it rained and a typhoon was on the way. We had two days to, to get all the way back to Kaohsiung and then stay there because uh, typhoon's coming and, and we needed a place to hunker down. So this was the first sunny day of their entire trip and we really wanted to make the most of it. We camped down here by the bridge and in the morning we hiked up the waterfall and hiked back. We wanted to go over the mountain to Caoling on the other side. And to do that, you have to go on 149 through this tunnel up here. And the problem with that is that this section right here between Longfeng Waterfall and Wanyan Xiagu is broken. It was destroyed during catastrophic flooding in the 99 floods like 40 years ago and then also in the 921 earthquake even more damage and so uh, that place is, is destroyed beyond repair at least there's no no plan to repair it so even though sometimes Google Maps might tell you to go through that section it's impossible there is no road there. In order to go from this bridge up to Caoling, you have to go all the way around here, up this mountain, down the other mountain, across the bridge, up the other mountain, and down again, uh, and then out back up to the tunnel. It is a 25 kilometer trip, and it takes an hour. To put that in perspective, it's about three kilometers from where we parked to the tunnel. So in a straight line, it's three kilometers, but by road, it's more than 25 kilometers. So of course, we didn't want to do that. We don't waste the, the precious time that you know my family has here in the, in the one time in eight years that they visit. So what I decided to do was take a bit of a gamble and go on an unknown road to see if I could drive off-road through the forest to reach the tunnel. But the map doesn't give us any help there. So let me spin this around. You can see where we are. So we're here at this bridge and we want to make it up to this tunnel and it's about three kilometers straight line. We have to go up 600 meters through the mountain and there's no road on the map. So we'll take a closer look and we can see that in the forest here, it's too dense. The satellite image doesn't provide any clear uh, information about a road there. Uh, I know there's a road that goes in that direction, but we don't know where it ends up. Maybe it just goes down to the river or to a farm. When we look further up, higher up on the mountain, 300 meters above where we were camping, we can see that there's a, a line for a road uh, a little white line here and at the top here it appears clear like there there is a road uh, but then once it sort of gets around this this bend here looks like there's a waterfall under the road then we lose information and every now and then little bits and pieces of it will pop back up uh, like here around this turn but you know then it goes down to this river here and it shows that there's a bridge across the river but we can barely clearly see in the satellite images that there's no bridge that road doesn't exist 
so I've theorized for a long time that this road can go through uh, if you have four wheel drive, uh, but I never actually did it. So, you know, a bit of a gamble on the, the little time my family had, but, uh, you know, I, I wanted to take them out on a, on a true Xiaofei experience, which means going someplace that I have little information on and, uh, you know, it can be a very amazing experience where you discover something new uh, or it can be a very miserable experience where you just get stuck somewhere and, you know, you have to dig the car out or something. Who knows? We started driving through this road and periodically I check where we are in the satellite image. You can tell where you are on the GPS even if there's no road there. Uh, and, and you don't have internet, but the, the accuracy is a little off, especially at a very steep mountain like this. And what I found is that there's a lot of roads in here. Um, you know, calling them roads is a bit generous. There's a lot of dirt tracks in here. Uh, you know, they're going in all different directions. I just sort of used the ridge lines because this white line there doesn't, it doesn't actually match up to anything. You know, if we want to go up the mountain, first we're gonna have to go this way, and then at some point we're gonna have to be doing these, these switchbacks to go up the, you know, really high elevation change. So now we're on this ridge here, uh, you know, down on this, this line here, and, you know, if we go right, it's gonna be away from where we wanna go, so we wanna go left here. Even though the road to the right looks like it's a much better condition, we actually, we actually need to go left to get back to where we want to go. So uh, I did that sort of, you know, ridge line navigating. It actually didn't, you know, took us way past where this white line was and, and we managed to come back uh, around kind of maybe over here. The road was quite damaged. So it's fine with the uh, four-wheel drive if you have some clearance. Uh, you could do it in motorcycle too. Don't even think about doing it with two-wheel drive. You know, lots of places were just sort of like, you know, you gotta wonder like, okay, should we turn back or keep going? Um, but I'm very stubborn when it comes to these kind of adventures. Like, yeah, let's just keep going, keep going. Failure is not an option. So actually we got to this place where the water flows over the road and then under the roads, like a, a big waterfall. But was the huge surprise to me because uh, you can't see it in the satellite photos. It's not visible in the satellite photos. And you know, I, I look at a lot of these. There was a 200 meter waterfall coming off the mountain down to the road. Uh, there was about another 50 meter waterfall just to the right of it. So it was like two big waterfalls uh, that came in there. Totally blew my mind. I hiked up there with my brother, dream come true, river tracing with my brother, and we managed to get to the bottom of the waterfall. It was just really great to be able to show my family basically what I do, which is go to a place with no information, little information, and try to reach the destination and make a map and create some information about that place. Nearby, there's like five or six uh, other really big waterfalls and of course hundreds of smaller ones. And I really highly recommend like the Yunlin Meishan area, those two, two mountains that come together. Very, very beautiful area, very, very suitable for hiking and waterfalls. So I hope you enjoy this little uh, map experience. Something that I really wanted to do for a long time, but you know, I was never certain that that road went all the way through. But now I can say with confidence that it does go through and there's lots of waterfalls up there. It's a great place to go explore it. Also, Asher needs a pension and you can support him in retirement by signing up for Patreon.